now let us see a different kind of a layout all together now let me ask you the question before i introduce the next uh, layout it will the next layout will become very obvious when i tell you the product now let us say that you are in the business you are you are a boeing you are an airbus you make 737s you make a380 the, the the jumbo right what layout will you follow when you are manufacturing a380 or uh, a320 or 747 or 777 what layout will you follow will you actually move the uh, plane from one workstation to the next workstation to the next workstation to the next workstation or uh, will you move the uh, uh, plane from uh, one uh, layout uh, one uh, department called turning department to another department called milling department no none of that is going to happen none of that is going to happen they these kind of products require a special type of layout and that layout is called fixed product layout obvious right when you are manufacturing a plane machines cannot be fixed the product has to be fixed and then the machines have to move around the product ship building very similar example right and then you think uh, i can give you only these two examples not true not true i have given you two examples building an airplane or building a ship will definitely require a fixed product layout i will tell you there are so many examples in service industry can you think about one i will give you 10 seconds to think about a service industry example of a fixed product layout okay in the meanwhile let me tell you what is a fixed product layout fixed product layout is uh, when the product is too large or too cumbersome to move uh, the various processing steps have to move around it right and that's called a fixed product layout service service industry example of a fixed product layout is uh, when you go visit a restaurant when you go visit a restaurant do you move no in a buffet you move and when you go to a buffet i told you the the table uh, the food the sequence in which the food is arranged is arranged in a product layout going from salads to uh, appetizers to main course to the dessert right sometimes even that is process layout right uh, so all the appetizers are kept together all the uh, all the main courses are kept together now the main courses are also split between veg and non veg right and it allows you to move it allows you to move uh, no 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 i will start with the dessert then i will go to appetizers and if i have enough space uh, then i will have a main course right it allows you some flexibility so some uh, buffets also have a process layout now think about a dining restaurant in a dining restaurant what do you do a dining restaurant is a fixed product layout because you go and sit on a table you place the order the food comes to you okay doesn't matter what you order whether you order appetizers whether you order main course whether you order dessert the food comes to you it is a fixed product layout you are fixed right you are sitting it is pretty much like building an airplane okay so don't think that fixed product layouts are quite rare fixed product layouts are everywhere in service industry today everywhere because you don't want customer to be troubled you don't want customer to move around in your facility you can tell the customer boss i will come to you you tell me what you want you sit in one place you sit on a sofa i will get everything done for you that is a fixed product layout okay so don't don't think that fixed product layouts are actually rare they are not okay so uh, essentially uh, rather than uh, take the product to the processes essentially the processes are brought to the products that is essentially what i was describing uh, i i told you uh, construction right uh, building building uh, uh, building uh, right uh, when you construct a building uh, uh, essentially it's a fixed product layout you are not going to move buildings right uh, so all the processing has to happen around around that product okay uh, how does the uh, how does the uh, uh, here the workplace remains stationary and equipment and personnel move around uh, how does the layout look like uh, so the, here is the work piece uh, here is your uh, here is your aeroplane or whatever and then uh, all the drilling milling grinding uh, welding everything is around it right everything is around it so that's how the fixed product layout looks like okay now that uh, we have seen what the fixed product layout is let us as always uh, that's what we did for product layout and process layout let us understand the advantages and disadvantages of the fixed product layout 
So uh, let us list out some of the advantages. Uh, obviously, very obviously, uh, the material movement is less. Uh, there is hardly any material movement uh, because the processes are moving, right? Uh, the processes are moving. But uh, remember what is going to happen. Uh, let us say that uh, you are building a ship, right? Uh, you are building a ship and you need a, a, a welding machine. Now, uh, what is going to happen is uh, uh, just to speed up the uh, total uh, production time, to reduce the total production time, uh, what may happen is uh, uh, you are going to probably have multiple copies of the welding machine operating in different parts of the ship. Uh, so what, what will that do? That will increase the capital cost because you may need multiple welding machines. Uh, because uh, 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 in, in the process layout, uh, the product could have kept on coming back to the welded, welding shop whenever it needs welding. That is not possible. Ship cannot be moving when it is getting constructed. Uh, therefore, uh, uh, we are going to buy multiple copies of the welding machine unless we keep moving the welding machine from uh, the uh, uh, whatever the hull of the ship to uh, the port of the ship and all that, right? So uh, uh, either we do that. If we do that, then uh, essentially when we say material movement is reduced, uh, material movement may be reduced, but the equipment movement may get increased. Uh, and moving these uh, machines may, may not even be that uh, uh, that that uh, uh, feasible uh, and therefore we may end up having multiple um, welding machines uh, and uh, that actually increases your capital cost okay so since we are talking about advantages let us focus on the advantages material movement is definitely reduced what will also happen is the workers let, think about a worker in the product a product layout let us say that uh, uh, the job of uh, that of particular operator uh, in the product layout is uh, drilling. So what they do, uh, let us say that uh, uh, in a in a uh, engine building uh, for a, for a car, uh, there is a there is a in, uh, we have to build the engine, and in that in engine building, this worker this operator uh, only is supposed to be drilling. So they don't understand the big car getting manufactured. They don't even understand the big engine getting manufactured. All day in and day out, what they do? Drill machines, right? Operate drill machines, that's all. Drill holes, that's all they are doing. In a fixed product layout, the worker operating uh, a welding machine or a drilling machine can actually see the full product getting built in front of them. So the, uh, the job enlargement, this is called job enlargement. Because they are able to perform the whole job, right? Not just a very small part of the job which is possible in a fixed product layout. Okay, so uh, continuity of operations, right? Uh, and therefore, uh, since I see the entire product getting built, uh, I see the continuity of operation and therefore the responsibility uh, that comes because of that. I mean, we are we are a team and we are building team, right? That all that uh, job enlargement actually happens in a fixed product layout much more easily than it happens in a product layout. So uh, uh, now if the design uh, changes, it doesn't matter, right? Uh, uh, I mean, uh, 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 design changes can be accommodated, uh, uh, the production volume can be accommodated because it doesn't matter, it's a fixed product, right? Uh, I will have to repeat this uh, one more time. So, if, uh, but uh, uh, changes, right? Design changes can also be accommodated very easily, not, not actually very difficult, not as difficult at it as, as it used to be in the product layout. It, therefore, it, it has a very flexible configuration. Uh, yeah, and, and scheduling becomes uh, quite easy, right? Scheduling becomes quite easy because you are operating on different parts uh, of, of the product and therefore uh, uh, the sequencing becomes actually quite natural and therefore a little easier. Okay, now some of the disadvantages or some of the limitations of uh, fixed product layout. As I said earlier, uh, it, act, it may actually result in increased movement of personnel or equipment. Uh, I, I will have to keep moving the welding machine all over the place uh, because uh, it, the welding may be required in multiple parts of the product, multiple phases of the product design. Okay, uh, or if I if I don't want to move the equipment, I may have to duplicate. Uh, I may require multiple welding machines. That's what I was telling earlier. Uh, higher skill levels are required because uh, the same uh, worker may be uh, welding in this part of the uh, airplane, uh, some other part of the airplane. The requirements may be quite different. Uh, but uh, uh, the same set of uh, workers or same team may be doing it and therefore the skill requirements will actually have to be quite higher and therefore general supervision is required which is actually tougher than specialized supervision. 
uh, the biggest problem there is the positioning of the material and machinery right uh, so how is the product uh, oriented and therefore how are you going to then position the material and machinery around that product uh, that becomes uh, cumbersome and costly uh, and uh, 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 going uh, by the building machine example earlier uh, this may result actually in lower equipment utilization right lower equipment utilization because you may have multiple copies of the building machine and uh, not each one of them getting used for all 8 hours of the day uh, and uh, therefore uh, this may result in lower equipment utilization so just to summarize uh, we have looked at four layouts product layout uh, for every product uh, you look at the sequence of operations and for the sequence of operation you design the facilities in that sequence that's a product layout you change the product the uh, the require uh, the sequence of operations will change since the sequence of operation will change the layout will change then we saw process layout process layout is uh, machines of similar type sitting together uh, and the variety is quite large in process layout uh, volumes can be much lower uh, but it promotes uh, it promotes variety it promotes flexibility uh, so in that sense it is better the transportation is larger uh, because the the products have to keep shuttling between uh, milling department and drilling department and uh, turning department and so on that was process layout then we saw combination of product and process which was group technology layout right uh, so uh, group technology layout is first of all you group uh, the products uh, based on similarity and create families of product and for that family of product you create a product layout like facility not exactly product layout product layout like facility so it's somewhere between product layout and process layout some flexibility is possible within that cell we also call this as cellular layout so some flexibility was possible so since it has combinations of pro product layout and process layout it has advantages of product layout and process layout it has disadvantages of product layout as well as process layout the fourth layout that we saw was this fixed product layout where the product has to be fixed and the equipments have to move around it the resources have to keep moving around it and uh, we saw airplane building as an example of fixed product layout we even saw fine dining where uh, people come and uh, serve you on your table even banks have started doing that uh, banks uh, uh, it doesn't so earlier uh, uh, so why why do i talk about that i have a slide uh, which is a copy from uh, professor madhavan's book uh, so uh, i am going to just put that up right uh, this is directly from uh, a textbook called operations management uh, by professor madhavan at i am bangalore so all credits to him uh, 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 this is directly from him i am only referring to it uh, i encourage you to look at uh, this example this is about two banks you can very clearly see that those are two banks and they have a different layout okay so i i will i will not discuss this because this is already discussed in professor madhavan's book titled operations management i will leave you to that but think about it and identify the type of layout if you can't identify you can always refer to his textbook and i will not discuss this further in fact i will stop this here uh, next uh, session we will discuss about uh, optimizing the product layout